Today I'm debunking three major health and fitness myths for women over 40. So as women age, so many different myths about health and fitness tend to circulate and that leaves us confused and overwhelmed and not sure what direction to take. So let's debunk some common myths and shed light on the truth, especially for women over 40. Hello, I am Sarah Preston, integrative health practitioner and certified menopause and fat loss coach. And I am so dedicated to helping women over 40 thrive, not just survive into menopause. So I do that by offering practical evidence-based advice and personalized support to help you feel and look good at this stage of life. So let's start by addressing a significant concern that a lot of my clients have, and that is the myth that hormone replacement therapy, HRT, is dangerous. So is it dangerous? Well, where did that come from? That came from a study that was done that was called the Women's Health Initiative. And during that study, they stopped the study. They said that estrogen caused breast cancer and everybody, all the doctors stopped prescribing hormone replacement therapy. They have since come out and gone back on their recommendation to stop hormone therapy. So they have come out and said, they've debunked it. People involved in the study, you can look it up, have said that they were misguided with what the results that they thought they were seeing. And so that's great news because so many women at that point were on hormone replacement therapy and were thriving and they were taken off of it. And for a period of time, probably 20 years, nobody or very few people were prescribed hormone therapy and women are suffering for it. They're feeling poorly with hot flashes, bone density issues, heart issues, even brain issues, all the things that come with menopause that could potentially be resolved with some hormone replacement therapy. And now the research that's being done is showing that hormone replacement therapy, especially if it is bioidentical, so that's your estradiol and your progesterone, in some cases testosterone, it can actually be protective for women. So having the right amounts and levels of those hormones in your body that are body identical, they are identical to what your body makes, can actually prevent you from the number one killer of women, which is heart disease, can actually protect you from that. It can help you with your brain health, your bone health, osteoporosis is a big one. And one way that we can fight against that is by having enough estrogen. If you think about it, women who are pregnant have very high levels of estrogen, but you're not seeing breast cancer, huge amounts of breast cancer in women that are pregnant. So it kind of doesn't make sense to say that when estrogen is higher, there's more breast cancer. So this is definitely something I've been looking into and researching. And, you know, I want to be as healthy as possible as I age. And I believe that hormone replacement therapy is part of that. I haven't started any estrogen or anything yet, but I have a progesterone cream um, because progesterone and estrogen um, really start to decline in perimenopause, the two to 12 years before menopause. And I started seeing signs and symptoms that my progesterone was low. So I started adding just a cream to my arms to help with that. So that's definitely one, you know, kind of like the first step, but it's something to talk to your doctor about or to find a um, hormone replacement therapy, a bioidentical hormone replacement, this is not the birth control pill, a an expert and someone who knows, what the <laughs> who knows how to prescribe this stuff that you can talk to. So please watch the video that I did here on YouTube with Jill, who is an RN and is now a hormone specialist, and she shares an entire presentation on hormone replacement therapy, so check that out. Number two, women should avoid intense workouts as we get older. This is not true, it's actually the opposite is true. We actually need the higher intensity. So as our hormones decline, we don't have that stimulus that we need to build muscle 
and lose fat, change our body composition, have better insulin sensitivity. We need that intensity that estrogen used to give us. So how we do that is by doing high intensity, but we also have to focus on the rest. That's the thing here is that yes, women can still do high intensity workouts, um, intense workouts, meaning heavy lifting, short hit workouts, not hour long hit classes. We can still do these as we age and we actually need these, but at the same time, we also need adequate rest. So we might need to take two days off between heavy lifting sessions. If we're doing high intensity interval training, we need to go as hard as we can, then we need to rest for a minute. We have to give our body that adequate rest and we really have to work on mobility and flexibility so that we don't get injured. And we have to build muscle so that we don't get injured doing some of this higher intensity stuff. But we absolutely need that stimulus to get the most out of our workouts. Okay, and the third one is weight gain after 40 is inevitable. I know I heard this one and you're probably hearing it too and you're probably feeling it. You probably feel like, oh my gosh, this is just what it's like to get older. I see so many older women who have gained weight. This is just my path. You know, everything that I've been doing is not working. Well, let me tell you, the thousands of women that I have worked with are shocked when they can actually lose the weight without feeling restricted. You don't have to go on all the diets. You don't have to, you know, be miserable in order to keep the weight off. Yes, our body is changing. There is no doubt about that. We are seeing changes in our physical bodies as we get into our 40s and 50s. And it's tough. It's hard to deal with. And we can't just eat soup for two days and you know eat little and exercise hard and it all goes away like maybe we could in our 20s we have to do things differently part of the reason that this happens is i talked about that estrogen decline that can cause us to store belly fat we stop moving as much if you think about it you know when we had toddlers maybe we were chasing them around now we're just driving kids around or maybe you sit at a desk most of the day maybe you don't have kids at home anymore so you do a lot more or sitting after dinner you you know you and your husband sit down you watch TV we're just not as active and some of us don't have as much energy because we're not fueling our bodies properly so we stop moving as much and that's part of it too we also lose muscle as we age every year if you are not actively building muscle you're losing muscle and muscle is going to help with that body composition it helps us burn calories at rest it helps us with insulin resistance so the more muscle you have on your body the more um, the easier you're able to metabolize carbs insulin carbs so you know these things happen as we age and so we have to be more intentional all right so what should you do you should be lifting weights building muscle that should be the majority of your training is focused on building muscle that short hit that i talked about hit or sprints getting in a lot of steps. So if you're not naturally moving throughout your day, you need to get up from your desk, walk around, go out for a walk, take a walk after dinner, um, get a walking pad under your desk, whatever you need to do to get more steps. We have to focus on sleep. It becomes harder and harder to sleep, you know, as we get into perimenopause because of our hormones. It's just, you know, we're not getting the good night's rest. Maybe we have teenagers keeping us up late, um, stressors, you know, in our life, but we have to really focus on sleep. That's when we recover and it really makes, it makes a huge difference in our energy levels and just how we feel. And then we need to prioritize protein and fiber. Protein's going to help us build muscle, keep us full. It has a lot of functions in our body and then fiber is going to help to detox the hormones that we don't want in our body. It's going to help with weight loss, cholesterol levels. It's really great for overall health and disease prevention. So we want to make sure that we're prioritizing protein and fiber. So this is how I help women every single day. We put these things into place. So if you need help, please make sure you reach out. I uh, would love to 
to share with you my over 40 fat burning guide. So that is in the description of this video. So go ahead and download that and make sure you subscribe to this channel, my channel, so that you don't miss any of these um, upcoming videos. I hope this was helpful.